Hi everyone, today's July 3rd. I'm David Reeder. Just got back from watching an exciting week of racing at U.S. Nationals in Indianapolis. We'll get to all that, but plenty of other news to chat about first, right now, on The Week That Was. This week, the Court of Arbitration for Sport dismissed a case filed against FINA by European Swimming Federation President Paolo Borelli. Borelli, who's actually challenging incumbent Julio Maglione for the post of FINA president, accused FINA officials Hussein al Musalam and Dale Newberger of violations of the FINA Code of Ethics. Borelli released a statement saying he is planning to appeal Cass's de decision. Four World Junior records broken this week at the European Junior Championships in Israel. Nicolo Martinengi broke his own 100 breast mark. He lowered it to 59.23 for the third time he set it this year. He was also a part of Italy's record-setting 400 medley relay. Hungary's Christoph Milak crushed a World Junior record in the men's two-fly. His 153.79 more than two seconds faster than the previous World Junior record set by Ben Sebi in 2010. What's, it, what's interesting, though, is that Milak might not actually swim the event at World Champs this summer since countryman Thomas Kenderesi, who's the Olympic bronze medalist in the event, and Laszlo Che, the reigning world champion, are both still swimming, so we'll have to see how that situation shakes out. Finally, in the men's 200 free, Moldova's Alexei Sankov broke a world junior record his time, 147 flat. David Marsh is heading back to college swimming. He accepted a job this week as head coach of the University of California San Diego Tritons, currently a D2 school but in the process of transitioning to D1. Marsh was previously the head coach at Auburn and then he spent the last decade coaching in Charlotte with Swim Mac and more recently Team Elite. Marsh says he plans to create a new professional team out west. He starts at UCSD July 15th. Wright State has reached its fundraising goal it had set to save its women's and men's swimming and diving programs. Back in May, the school abruptly announced that the programs would be cut, but the College Swim Coaches Association encouraged Wright State's administration to set up a fundraising goal that could save the program. The goal was $85,000 by June 30th, and that goal is met. The programs will continue to exist through at least next season, and then the school and program supporters will determine how to adequately fund the teams moving forward. Our top story this week, some awesome racing at U.S. Nationals in Indy. The attention, of course, was on Katie Ledecky, who was her usual dominant self. She won the 200, 400, 800 free, all in the fastest times in the world. She was also sixth in the 100 free to book her spot on the 400 free relay in Budapest. Leah Smith was second in all three of those events, the 200, 400, 800, and she also won the mile without Ledecky, as well as the 400 IM. Yes, Leah Smith, the third fastest swimmer in the world in the 400 IM. Who knew? Caleb Dressel won three events, the 50 free and the 50 in the 100 fly. His 100 fly time was 50.87, arguably the most impressive swim of the week, at least on the men's side, and it was the number one time in the world this year. Dressel also second in the 100 free, just 100th behind Nathan Adrian. Two American records went down, Lily King with a 29.66 to break Jessica Hardy's American record in the women's 50 breast, and Kevin Cordes blasted a 58.74 in the men's 100 breast. That broke Cody Miller's American record, but I don't think Miller was too upset since he finished second to earn his trip to Worlds in the 100 breast. King and Cordes, by the way, each won all three breaststroke events for the women and the men, respectively, on the week. Other highlights, Mallory Comerford's U.S. Open record in the women's 100 free, which she won in 52.81 to beat Olympic gold medalist Simone Manuel, and Matt Grievers returning to the world's team in the men's 100 back. So plenty of drama in the women's 400 IM. Ella Easton appeared to finish second, but she was disqualified for kicking on her back during the freestyle leg. That allowed Elizabeth Beisel to claim the number two spot on the team behind Leah Smith, and make the U.S. national team for the 12th straight year. That's the longest active streak of anyone, women or men. Very, very exciting week in Indy. In just three weeks, till all the top swimmers in the world are on the same pool at the FINA World Championships in Budapest. We'll be back here next week with more news. Until then, I'm David Reeder. Thanks.